First up, a glitch some of you are experiencing, and I don't quite know how to put my finger on it because it never happens to me and it doesn't happen to a lot of students. But some of you, when you click on this Illustrator file, and I'm gonna open up my first spiral demo, mine opens up every single time my files open up from there. I'm in cloud documents too, you know. I don't work from home. I, I jump over to the cloud documents because this is where I'm opening files from. And if yours doesn't open, the solution seems to be in the Mac Lab for whatever reason, quit Illustrator. Don't click this red button. That doesn't quit anything, it just hides it. Under Illustrator, you go down to quit. Command Q, learn this. Quit the program, relaunch it, click it. If it doesn't open, I mean, for most kids, it opens up. Do it a second time. If it doesn't open up after that, do the JPEGs. I, we'll try to figure this out. But for right now, I'm in this file, and I want to select this to take it into Photoshop. So Command A. You remember this document size? 1,000 pixels square, right? But what I just copied is less than 1,000 pixels square. So now I'm going to jump over to Photoshop, and we don't need that open. We'll close that. And I'm going to open up a new document. But when I open up a new document, Photoshop should have recognized what's on the clipboard. Did I really copy? Right here. Command C. Jump over to Photoshop. Command N. There it is. Wow, that's weird. I must not have copied that other one. So if the clipboard doesn't show up, it's something wrong. Something went wrong. Go back. I don't want a 955 by 955. I want 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. And I hit tab to jump to that next field. And so I got 1,000 by 1,000. I create it. And on your screen, it's going to look this large. Uh, this is just my 5K monitor. And then I hit Command-V in order to paste this. And what? Okay, important, important, turn this off. I showed you before, if I turn this on, it will add, well, we want to go with the smart object. It will add this to my library, no problem. For you, it gets hung up. You have to turn this off. This has something to do with our license. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. But for right now, paste it as a smart object, not pickles, pixels, and click OK. Don't move this. Don't resize this. It looks all jaggy because this is a simulated position, dead center. Just hit return. And now this is placed perfectly in place. And it looks a little jaggy still because this is full resolution on my 5K monitor. So now we've got our first vector smart object, and I'm just going to title it 01 because that is my first one. And then I'll do one more simply because this is the process. You're going to do all four of them. I'm going to go to number two, and this will be much quicker. I'm just going to click here, hit Command A. Everything's copied. Yep, it's selected, and I cop Command C. Yeah, did I do that? <laughs> okay, sorry. V, smart object, libraries are off. Click OK. Look, it's on a new layer. Oh no, what's all this? Well, you just turn off this bottom layer. And when you do that, that committed this smart object. It automatically did your work for you. It hit return for you as soon as you do something different. We're going to name this O2. And then off screen, I'm going to do three and four. You can do that. So then we get these things stacked up and they're registered right over one another but we're not going to leave them on top of each other. We're going to make a grid. 